All right, this is a review of Trailblazer, The Power of Business as the Greatest Platform for Change by Mark Benioff. Who is Mark? He's the CEO of Salesforce, CRM management, which means customer relationship management. In the real world, think of customer relationship organization, a technology company, cloud software, and updates to fit the vendor. Quick info about him, he's been to India. He has this Ohana family style corporate environment, a little bit of conformity, very high-end successful business. Just ask YouTube corporate cringe expert Joshua Fluke. He has a rich history, designed programs as a teenager. His grandpa helped build BART, which is the metro in the San Francisco Bay Area, and was a city supervisor for San Francisco. Mark interned for Apple and Steve Jobs. He's a local SF native, holds the Dreamforce Conference, and has the ego of the Salesforce Tower. And his business style, he's been influenced. He's traveled quite a bit. He has a Hawaiian influence, Ohana which is somewhat of family style, keep it family. Not just business, mindfulness and meditation, a customer priority, and he's got a base Einstein style, and taking the Toyota Japanese Kaizen technique, making small increments, small changes. And he thinks himself in the third person, what would Einstein say? Hmm, he drove a black Supra and adventurous in visiting Japan. And why Mark is good, he's He's got a diverse background. He's been to India, meditation, trust and transparency is important to him. Fairness and equality. Equality is one of his core values. And he sparks all these offshoots of dream force, future force, bold force, cage force, all kinds of departments created and branching off this big personality he has. He'll show you by prioritizing and will provide methods, opticals, and measures in getting his customers to success. And one of the things he's learned from Steve Jobs is to search for small breakthroughs and insights, which come out of nowhere. And in this equality path, he describes it as woman's search, where he has some female leadership teams in his group, where he wants to help out the women in his business. And in that process, he could have beta males pressure to be conforming, a utopian style. There could be designating spots, not excellence, not merit. And he does stick out an olive branch to listen to underrepresented minorities. And other reasons I like him is into meditation. And he learns from the monk T. Nat Han. And by being a good listener, he's connected. We're all connected stakeholders. And he puts his business and customer success on the forefront. He has an underdog mentality and he's an Einstein lover. Who cannot like Einstein? And in this listening, it reminds me of the empathy tense when there's a riot. He's taken sabbatical in India, been to Nepal and Japan, which eventually I'll be going to. He's into nature and Zen, promises to help the youth. A big time donator to oceans is, you know, I'm a surfer. There's a homelessness crisis he helps out with, schools, hospitals, the UCSF Children's Benioff, which is a hospital out in SF. He helps provide. He puts money where his mouth is, doing something for others versus some people that are doing nothing. And he does mention he can't do it all himself. So this guy takes a hit at himself that he needs other people. He can't, he's rich. But he can't do everything himself. They have to do things as well. Lastly, some of the values, diversity, values-driven, inclusivity, and equality. And none of that is excellence. Not just feminism issues, but who is the best? Merit. And he does mention the fifth industrial revolution. The future, patterns of work for a purpose. A clear purpose, something good. And in conclusion, I give him the benefit of the doubt. It's a very interesting read. It's hard to knock down someone who spends their own money to do good. He can't do everything himself. What are you doing? Yeah, he does what he wants. Do these corporations have individuals' best interests at heart? Do corporations know what is best for us? Or are they just trying to sell by selling empathy? Choose freedom.